As a disclaimer of this video, I just want to let you know that the firmware 1.66 you will see inside this video, it's pretty much just a placeholder for the actual firmware that you need to install. JVC's latest firmware update for NZ7, NZ8, NZ9, RS2100, RS3100, and RS4100. The firmware is here. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. rejoice, rejoice. rejoice. So you have to go to the JVC website, obviously, to download the latest firmware. You download the firmware under a zip file like this, and then you right-click, extract all. Yes, you want it, so you click extract. It's extracting, and you see this folder. And make this folder as the main folder on your USB key, just like this. You click it once and then control C, so you copy it. So after you plug in your USB key, you click that, click somewhere in here and then press control V. It's copying all items to here. And when it's done, you're done. Then you have to go to your projector and plug it into your the back of your projector there's only one USB input, so just plug it in there. So after you plug it in to the back of the projector, grab the projector's remote, and you press menu. You will see that. Arrow right, arrow right, arrow right, arrow right. Arrow right and then go down to software update press enter and then it will show this the version 1.66 it's going to take about 59 minutes to update so yeah grab a cup of coffee or you know like a gallon worth of coffee and then click yes and then don't do anything don't turn off the projector just leave it be. Come back an hour later. One hour later. So after that one hour, I came back to my home theater. I power on the projector. Press menu. And let's have a look at the results. I just want to see which firmware that we have right now. Here, there you go. You can see that down there. Software version 1.66. And let's see whether the feature set that I'm looking for are already here. So the new firmware update gives you this picture mode. So you have frame adapt HDR 1, 2, 3 and filmmaker mode. Those are new. And the HDR quantizer, before you only have auto, which is auto normal. Now, auto wide is added. Last but not least, under more settings, if you press enter there, you can see uh, dynamic control. You only had mode one and mode two. Now after the new firmware update, you have mode one, mode two, and mode three. So there you go, that's the update procedure and what you'll get from the new firmware update. So now, if you want to watch on how you're supposed to set up your new projector with the new firmware update, click on the top right, who's it, here, there, uh, and you'll be forwarded to that particular video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.